Hi, it's me again. I just, well, I have it uploaded. I just made a video of my rag doll. This year, little rag doll. No, I, yeah, this one. I made this one off of camera. And then I made this one on the video. Well, so I have all this on my desk here. I have, I started getting together all of the scraps I have, which is a lot of scraps. And so then I thought, well, what will I do with all those scraps? Because I just love creating anything at all out of the scraps. So I got this piece of felt. It doesn't match anything, but I mean, it doesn't match these these um, strips and such, but I'm going to cover the whole thing up so it won't matter. I just picked up a piece of felt. And so now I'm going to take all of these pieces, well, as many as I need, I'm going to take those, well, these are the little ends of the arms that I cut off. And so we're just going to put them on here, just wherever they land, I guess. And, and just use them all up. And just get this whole thing covered with pieces. There's all these pieces. And I have heard lately of some ladies, some crafters that are what they call is what they call a master board, which I had heard of them doing a master board before of, of paper. I've done paper master boards. And, um, but you can always also do the same thing with, with fabric. And then a master board is something, now this will be just a master board of the size of this here felt that I have, which I don't know, eight and a half by 11, maybe, I don't know, I didn't measure it. And, um, and, and then once you have your master board made, then you can cut pieces off of it for different projects that you might want to do. And so I'm getting some of these pieces laid over the edge, but then that's okay because I'll be cutting, I'll be cutting them off. But meanwhile, and that will make more scraps for something else. But meanwhile, I'm going to just keep, I don't want to get it too thick because then this is going to go also on the sewing machine and I want my sewing machine not to be struggling. I know I don't like to struggle so my sewing machine doesn't like to struggle I'm sure. And so, but I want to just get it covered up to where I don't see any of the orange fabric, the orange felt. I just want to see these colors that are right here. You could even, like when this is finished and all sewn together, you could even cut it apart and make um, coasters for your table. So, so when your, so you, your drink won't sweat all over, all over and ruin your beautiful table. And so let's see how we're getting here. I have a few more scraps that I actually need, but that's okay because then I can maybe make another master board. Fabric master board. I think I pretty much have it covered up. Let's see, put some of these threads in here threads I was pulling off as I was pulling the, pulling the fabric. 
fabrics apart. And I'll just get those on there too. Sprinkle them threads around. Remove the lumps. Okay, now. And piece of orange, I don't want that to show there. Okay, then I have this white lace. I can cut it this way. I'm going to put that lace over the top right here. And now I'm going to pin my, pin the whole thing together. Now, like I said, if you were going to use these and just cut it all apart and make coaster sizes out of it, these would make a really nice absorbent coaster. You know, they make coasters that are not absorbent. I just don't like them when I just don't. I mean, I shouldn't say I don't like them. They're likable, but they just don't. I like coasters that absorb the sweat off of the outside of your glass. And then don't stick to the glass once you go to pick them all up. And so that's the kind of coasters I like. Okay, so now there's many things you could do with this once you complete it. Okay, I'm going to cut these. I'm going to cut the edge off here. And then I'm going to take it to the sewing machine. I won't make you... Ow! God, my knee. Oh, Lord. My knee gets worried that it's. I'm trying to make it turn to the side instead of straight up and down. Okay. Don't mind this mess right here. Somebody else did it, I'm sure. Remove my hair brush. Oh, this is going to the trash. Okay. Now... I'm going to sew this, but I'm not going to sew the whole thing, right? I'm going to pause it while I'm sewing. But I'm going to put my sewing machine on the serpentine stitch. I like that. But you can stitch it however you want, of course. Of course. I don't even have to give you permission. But let's see, what number is that? 25. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. And we want it a little bit longer. Okay, and so and so what I normally do is I go all the way around the edge first. And then I will start going like into the up and down motion, you know, the like a weaving sort of. And get it all and my and uh, my thread is multicolored. And I use a multicolored in almost everything I do. Very rarely do I put on a thread that is a single color. Although in my bobbin threads, I do have a single color. Oh, my thread just jumped right off of the thing. Let me unjump it over here. There we go. Oh, that's because I have my bat in the way. Okay. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this whole thing cut. Not cut. I'm going to pause this while I do this sewing because I don't want to, to bore you out of your pajamas, you know. I 
I love the sound of a sewing machine. I'm telling you. Okay, I'm going to I'm I'm going to go ahead and pause it now and get this finished sewing, and then I'll be I'll be back. Okay, I finished stitching. You can see the stitching a little bit on the back where all I did was go around and around and around like in a, just kept going around until I had it all stitched. And now I will take and I will, wait a minute, oh, I wanted these scissors. I'm going to snip off, I'm using my pinking shears and I'm snipping off all the edge making more scraps but my scrap pile is getting smaller now something like this there are so many uses then for this a lot of you make fabric journals this makes a beautiful cover um, and like I said before you know like to cut it apart for coasters or cut it apart just for embellishments of any kind that you might be using in in a snippet roll or anything like that. There are so many ideas and and I'm sure that you all can come up with even more than I do. But um, I'm trying to do this neat, knowing that the whole world is watching me. Actually when I do something like this, I would just like go like this right along the edge and just let that stuff fall in the floor. Just let it fall in the floor because the sweeper will get it. And then I can make a, oh, wait a minute. I looked up there and I see you can't see me. I'm, I'm just now snipping again. And I just let those little pieces fall in the floor. And then I have I have my little tiny vacuum, a little hand vac. Well, I don't know what it is. I think I have it in the cupboard behind me. But um, just to get this cut off on the edges to be the same size as this piece of felt that I started with. And there we go, we got that now. And then, there it is. That's all my scraps from, from the doll I just made. A little bit of lace. And now, like lace like this, it, it, mutes, it, it mutes the colors in there, but and then gives it even that much more of a beautiful beautiful something. Now see, you could fold it in half like this and have a journal cover. Or you can fold it to where you have a little bit of a spine here. And, um, and the best thing to do for finding larger pieces of lace like this is to go to the thrift shop and find an old lace tablecloth. Now, most thrift shops, some of them really think their stuff is golden and they charge a lot of money, but then you go there two weeks and it's all the same stuff is still there because nobody's going to pay all that money. But um, there are some thrift shops, like the one I go to, well, I haven't been for ages, but St. Vincent de Paul, and then there's another one, that is Jericho Road Ministries has one, but each time you go in there, it's different, different things because the stuff sells so quickly and because they have good prices. And so, but just find some old curtains like the lace liner curtains or whatever. They used to use them a lot in the day and, or a lace tablecloth. You get a lot of lace in something like that. 
and you can go. Or you can just use tool. I've done the same thing before and just covered it with a, with tool. I see some of my orange showed through here, but that's just fine. You know, like Bob Ross would say, it's just a happy accident. And so, but yeah, I think that turned out really good. Um, and that is just something you can do with your with your um, leftovers. Here, I gotta fix my hair. There, now it's fixed. I need to do something with my face, maybe before I go to the doctor's. I just gotta go there for a little blood work, but I gotta fix my nails before I go to it. <sighs> my nose itches all the time. The scar on my nose after the little nasal surgery. My scar is like getting deeper and off kilter and stuff. Oh well. I tell stories about that, like the time I got in a fight with a bear. And I although I killed the bear, that's all I no, I just I wouldn't shoot a bear. Okay, that's it. That's what I wanted to tell you is what I was gonna do with the scraps for the doll I just made. And there you go. I've got what you would call until you use it for something else, it's just called a um I just said it, and I don't, now I don't know the words. <coughs> a fabric master board that you can do anything with it. I could probably cut like six squares out of this and have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could cut it perfect like this. So anyway, I was going to make a... Um, I want to make, I might make another video this afternoon because I want to work with my lace paper, paper lace. It dried up so nicely. No, I don't know where I put it. I do know where I put it, but I don't know where I, I put the thing that I put it in. Oh, here it is. Now, see my, my journal book. I'm going to put my, did I put my lace in here? I put it somewhere where it wouldn't get broke. Where did I put it? I thought I put it in here. Did I put it right here? No. I'd have to flip through all these pages to find it, I guess. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's what I would have to do. But my paper lace turned out really nice. Take my word for it. I thought I put it right here. Oh gosh, I am such a loser of things. I must have put it somewhere else. I sure do hope I find it though. But I thought I just stuck it in this book so it wouldn't get ruined. But I don't see it. I don't see it. Okay, it's missing. Missing in action. Oh, gracious me. I thought I put it in there. Well, that goes to show you how much I know. All right, well, I'm going to let you go then. I'm just going to turn you a loose, and I'll find it. because. But I couldn't do it because I needed my paper cutter, and then I realized my paper cutter's blade was rusty. And so I had to order another blade, which it'll be here sometime today. And then once I get that blade, then I can cut the paper I need to make a card, because I'll make a greeting card. Okay, I'm going to let you go now. I ask God to watch over you. I just have to take every move you make, keep you safe and sound and serene and keep you healthy and humble and healthy and honest and all the good things. And always remember, no matter how life how bad life gets or what comes across your whatever stay another day god bless